I do feel that there's other YouTubers who have a lot more experience and a lot more knowledge dealing with a lot more rabbits and I think it's a little disappointing that their channels aren't getting more recognition. <laughs> Hey bunnies and bunny lovers, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna be reacting to, drum roll, our biggest hater on YouTube. A lot of you guys for so long have been asking me to react to this and honestly, it's not something that I particularly think about often. I don't want you to think that this keeps me up at night or something. It's really just entertainment value for me to react to this. I think it's really interesting and very flattering that anybody would take the time to make videos dedicated to me or this channel. You really have to have like a lot of time on your hands to do that. So I am flattered uh, and honored actually. Like I love watching tea videos and stuff like that. <laughs> even like shouting out usernames or spotlighting like specific accounts most of the time and just giving them publicity but obviously I have to in this case um, so this person's YouTube is called my perfect family and it's funny because even when, as soon as you type in my perfect on YouTube like the first thing that pops up is my perfect family <laughs> Len and the bunny this person has literally uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten videos basically dedicated to our channel or Lennon the Bunny. I don't think she actually like hates Lennon, by the way. I think they're more directed at me because who could hate Lennon? Lennon is absolutely perfect. I'm basically just gonna like pick the most popular video with the most views. So we're gonna go with my thoughts on Lennon the Bunny. This has 40,000 views, guys. And also the person who makes this video, she never like shows her face. So if you guys are hoping to see what this person looks like that you're not gonna get that just FYI she does mostly like voiceovers 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 don't get it get it get it believe it or not there's a scientific term for the way a Kardashian speaks and it's vocal fry but yeah I'm like I'm fully aware that like I will never be able to please everybody like that's one thing I've learned on YouTube is is that there's always gonna be someone who's dissatisfied with whatever you do. And I don't think you guys should attack this person. I don't condone online bullying. That's always gonna be my disclaimer. Um, I'm just, this is pure entertainment value. I'm sure that she will probably make a video of me reacting to her. So the thumbnail is just stop. And it's literally me kissing Lennon on the forehead. Now a word from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Surfshark, so big thank you to them. Because what a better way to protect your digital life online than with a secure VPN like Surfshark. This sort of thing is great for banking apps, blocking malware, phishing, tracking, protecting yourself from targeted ads, and being able to access the internet in very restrictive countries. As you guys know, I like to travel a lot, and so being able to access certain TV shows and movies on streaming platforms is very important to me, so it's a really nice perk to have. And vice versa, there might be some shows overseas that aren't being shown over here in the US. One of the things I really like about Surfshark is it's hack lock, which sends you alerts anytime your email address or passwords are breached. Surfshark also offers a 30-day money-back guarantee if you are dissatisfied with your service. So go ahead and get your secure VPN with Surfshark using the link in our description. If you use our promo code Lennon, you'll get 85% off along with three free extra months. I think that's a really great deal. And let's get to this. You may be a little surprised why I'm not a huge fan of Lennon the Bunny since she's kind of become like the main rabbit activist. I guess that's where my problem is because Lennon the Bunny's channel has pretty much become the go-to rabbit. Wait, before I continue, 
I really want to wear my blue light glasses for this video even though by the way guys like I know blue light glasses don't really work but I feel like I just look smarter and like these are just like really cheap like children ones that I got off Amazon because I have such a small face so we are gonna wear this throughout the video so that I look way smarter than I really am don't judge you do it too you know you do it let's go go to rabbit channel for anyone who wants to learn about rabbits and it's a channel that everyone refers people to for proper rabbit care for the most part this is okay since she does teach proper rabbit care however i do feel that there's other youtubers who have a lot more experience and a lot more knowledge dealing with a lot more rabbits and I think it's a little disappointing that their channels aren't getting more recognition. So even though Lorelai or Lennon the Bunny has a really good channel where she does talk about proper rabbit care, a lot of her content revolves around free-ranging rabbits, and that's not something I personally agree with. So like, I can't control what other channels do or what kind of content they put out or whether it's good quality content or not. I know that there are just like really only two other rabbit care channels essentially and that's not to say that other channels are worse or better than mine i think that everyone is out there doing their thing and doing it the way that they do it and i support anybody who's making good bunny content regardless um you know even if it doesn't 100 percent align with like what i do but let's keep watching Okay. I'm not against the idea of free roaming. I'm just I just think that's a really unusual way to give pellets to your bunnies, but all right. I'm just against it being pushed for everyone because I really believe that it only suits a few type of rabbits and a few type of families. It's clear from the videos that Lennon is super social and has a really good bond with Lorelai, but a lot of rabbits aren't like that. A lot of them are more timid and really need to have their own space. I think a lot of this comes down to the more experienced part. Lorelai seems to primarily have experience with Lennon, even though she does do a lot of videos volunteering at shelters and meeting other rabbits, but seems a lot of her opinion is formed around how Lennon is and how she feels all other rabbits are. Okay, so, oh, hi, Lennon. You came to say hi? I don't know, she doesn't wanna, she doesn't wanna be on camera. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is a super, like, chill video. I can see how that would come off that way. But to say I'm inexperienced just because I have one bunny is like super inaccurate. I've dealt with hundreds of bunnies in my time advocating for bunnies, which has pretty much been for almost six years at this point. I've rescued bunnies from so many crazy situations. I have volunteered at rescues, shelters, you know, and then just doing the work that I do on this channel with house rabbit makeovers and the list goes on. So I, I am very familiar with tons of other bunny personalities. I can't tell, I hope there's not like a crazy glare here. I'm just gonna take this off for now. Let's keep going. Free roaming also comes with a lot of risk. Not only do you have to have a completely rabbit proofed house, but you may not be able to check up on them every day. For example, when I go to college really early in the morning, it takes me two minutes for me to run down here and check on my rabbits. But if they were to be free roamed in my fairly large house, I might not even be able to see them in the mornings. And rabbits are really good at hiding their illnesses. So your rabbit could be somewhere hiding and suffering and you might not even know it. I agree with that completely. You know, I wouldn't want Lennon free roaming in like a 3,000 square foot situation where I'm not able to locate her. I always say if you live in a, in a big house or something, keep it to one floor um, or designate a space for them. Designate a room for them. Create the space accordingly. Let's go. Especially if your rabbit is in bonded to you and doesn't come when he's called, I just feel like this is a really bad formula. I also think it's really important to consider the different types of people. Lorelai lives alone in a seems like a smaller apartment, so free roaming seems to work really well for her lifestyle. But in my family, where I'm not the only one who lives here, free roaming just poses a lot of risks. 
Even if I did have an area that was rabbit proofed for them, since my entire family would be using it, the chances of it staying rabbit proofed is so small. I also think that if you're a child and you're trying to free roam your rabbit, I just think that could cause a lot of controversy in the house because even though they are litter box trained, poop and hay gets everywhere. As you can see, my cage, even though I just cleaned it a couple hours ago, there's already poop everywhere and in your house that accumulates. Also, I think pushing the idea of free ranging without talking about all the risks, like the fact that your family members could accidentally leave things outside that aren't safe for your rabbit, or that if you have other pets like dogs or cats that they can't be with your rabbits, I think it's really dangerous for her to promote that message and not talk about things like this. So I do take that off again. So I do talk about that stuff. You have like a dog or a cat that's like posing a threat to your rabbit. Like don't free roam them in the same room. That'd be crazy. Actually, I wouldn't even recommend getting a rabbit in that case, but I know sometimes it happens. So Lorelai recently started a series where she goes to other people who have issues with their rabbits and she tries to solve them. A lot of these are because the people aren't caring for their rabbits properly and are keeping them in small cages. My only issue is that she seems to be presenting free roaming as the only option to those families. And a lot of those families seem really hesitant to even try free roaming. So I'm not sure why she's pushing it. Keep in mind. FYI, like that is the point of the show. And that is why people like write me emails asking to participate in the show is because they want to free roam their bunnies. Um, so that's not going to change anytime soon. But maybe I will do a, an episode where it's not free roaming. I mean, it really depends. I just haven't encountered a situation where it has not been possible. Like I've been able to make it possible in all four of my episodes. But I was really disappointed to see that in the first episode, she made the family throw away their hutch and didn't even use it as an option. Now, the idea whether rabbits need to be kept in pairs or not is very debated. But I think when you have a channel that completely revolves around rabbit care, you should at least be talking about the fact that rabbits really do need companionship. Personally, I would be pushing the message that rabbits need to be in pairs a lot more than I would be pushing that rabbits need to be free roam. The fact that she actually- I do try to promote getting bunnies in pairs if you can. If you've watched any of my videos in the past year, that is a message that I have been inserting. I should probably make a video at some point specifically dedicated to, you know, rabbits living in pairs or living as single rabbits, because like she said, it is a very debated topic. And I think that rabbits being in pairs or trios, etc., is a beautiful thing. I've seen partnerships that have really worked very well, or I've seen partnerships where the bond um, was broken and things went really south. These are man-made bonds. They're not bunnies being born into existing groups. And so the hierarchy is a little different than if the bunnies had just grown up together, which is what would happen with like wild European rabbits. Yeah, never recommended both those families with single bunnies to get a second rabbit. FYI, I did recommend it for episode four. I think it's really sad because a lot of those rabbits could have really thrived from companionship. Just to reiterate, my problem isn't necessarily that Lennon is a single rabbit, it's more that Lorelai isn't talking about it on her channel. It's clear that Lennon is very loved and she and Lorelai have a really good lifestyle situation sorted out. I think when you free range a rabbit, a lot of it is just accommodating to that specific rabbit. So I do think it would be a really big change for Lorelai and Lennon to get a second rabbit. So I don't know if that's necessarily the best option. I just think it's an option she should be talking about with her viewers because I feel like most people should be having two rabbits. I mean, I think that's fair. I think that's a fair criticism. Like I, like I said, I've been trying to talk about it more in my videos in the past year. Um, and I think I'll, I will continue to do that. I will definitely be bringing that up more often. But in general, I think it's really toxic when you say that breeders aren't good because or if the reputable people weren't breeding animals, then the only breeders you have left are backyard breeders and that's obviously really terrible for the animals. These animals have to be coming from somewhere, so I would rather them be coming from good breeders. Okay, I mean, that's a whole other video, again, that I can get into separately, but yeah, I don't, 
I don't agree with the breeding for profit. I just, I just don't. I've never sugarcoated that. It's one thing to have an accidental litter because you didn't know you had a boy and a girl or whatever. But even then I'm like, man, you really should have just gotten your bunnies spayed and neutered. There's just enough rabbits in the world and, and way too many homeless ones. What, like an influx to the point where, you know, they're getting euthanized at the shelter every day. So, you know, to have someone breeding for profit, it just, why, while bunnies are getting euthanized at the shelter or dumped, you know, on the side of the road, it doesn't make any sense to me. But again, we can make a different video on that. I definitely wish that she would be putting out a little bit more educational videos rather than just her usual more on trend videos. I think it would be really beneficial, especially for people that are pretty much learning all their information exclusively from their channel, to have more information about the different health conditions rabbits can have, the different veggies that rabbits should be fed, etc. So those are just some of my thoughts about Lennon the Bunny's channel. I really do like her channel and I'm still subscribed and I still watch all her videos because I think she does a really great job advocating for rabbits. I think the way she makes her videos, they're really entertaining to watch and she has such a wide reach and she is very passionate about what she does. She has videos where when she sees these rabbits in these conditions, it's clear that she's very hurt by it and she really wants to help them. In some of them, it almost looks like she's gonna cry just by talking about how abused rabbits often are. And honestly, anyone doing any type of advocacy work towards animals is a great person in my books. I just wish she would touch on these points a little bit more and touch on some other points a little bit less. She's made a ton of videos. I would love to react to all of them because I don't feel like this was even the juiciest video, to be honest. I feel like I've seen other ones where she really goes hard. I mean, she, was, she wasn't that mean in the video, to be honest. It's not criticism I haven't heard before. It was kind of fun watching this, to be honest. I'm sure I'll do more reactions in the future. I just picked this one because it had the most views. I know that my methods or strategies might not work 100% for the next person and that's okay. All I can do as a human being is just try to be the best person I can be, be the best content creator I can be. <laughs> that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Give this video a like.